Welcome to the mediation pack for Nagios XI training presentation, for the IBM Operations Analytics Predictive Insights product. In this presentation we will discuss the following topics. Overview of the mediation pack. Prerequisites for the mediation pack. Nagios XI mediation pack introduction. Nagios XI Mediation Pack Data and Metrics Installing and configuring the Nagios XI Mediation Pack Deploying the data model, and data training Support and troubleshooting And, Operations Analytics Media Resources The IBM Operations Analytics Predictive Insights Mediation Pack for Nagios XI provides a pre-built model for data ingestion. This model is then used to forecast behavior outside of the modeled range which generates alarms. The Nagios XI Mediation Pack provides metric data in CSV format for which the Mediation Pack will use to formulate content into predictive insights. The Nagios XI provides APIs which are utilized to retrieve the metric data. A Java utility is employed to call the various APIs and format the metric data into the corresponding CSV files. The diagram at the bottom of the slide shows that the Java utility retrieves Nagios XI metrics and then formats them into CSV files which is then ingested by the Predictive Insights product. The following is a list of prerequisites that are needed for the Nagios XI mediation pack. Predictive Insights versions 1.3.3, 1.3.5, or 1.3.6 must be installed prior to installing the mediation pack. The Nagios XI software must be configured for historical collection on the metrics for every 5-minute intervals. The mediation pack supports Nagios XI version 5.4.5 or higher. We will now discuss the Nagios XI solution overview, which include the topics of the source of the metrics to be ingested by Predictive Insights. As mentioned before, the Nagios XI provides metrics by API calls. The Mediation Pack Java utility uses the API calls to retrieve the metrics and then writes the metrics into CSV formatted files. Predictive Insights is then configured to pull in the content from the CSV files. The following slides show the list of performance metrics that are retrieved by the API call to the Nagios XI and formatted into CSV files. The first CSV file is CPU usage which consists of the host name, the CPU usage and the CPU wait time. The second CSV file shows the disk usage with host name, disk name and percentage of disk used. The CSV files that are shown on this slide consist of the drive usage, host status and memory data. Other CSV files are ping data and swap usage. The following slides show a table that illustrates how the metric content from the CSV files are used in the Predictive Insights product. The metric groups for Nagios are host status, swap usage, ping, and memory. Other metric groups for Nagios are memory usage, CPU usage, and drive and disk usage. In this section we will discuss how to install and configure the Nagios XI Mediation Pack. In this slide we will discuss the Mediation Pack contents. After you download the Nagios XI Mediation Pack, you must uncompress the zip file which contains the following directory structure. The config directory contains the Nagios config file which is used to configure the Java utility for this Mediation Pack. The docs directory will contain the user guide and the readme files. The license directory contains the license files that govern the usage of the mediation pack. 
the bin directory contains the Java utility which is used to extract metrics from the Nagios XI and formats the metrics into CSV files. The Nagios.sh shell script is also included in the bin directory which executes the Java utility. This script file is used in a cron job for executing the jar files in a regular interval of 5 minutes. The Java execution line in the script is shown in the middle of this slide. Note that the Java underscore home variable is set in the Nagios.sh to a default path. You will need to modify the Java underscore home variable in the Nagios.sh script file if you want to change the path to a different Java binary. The PA model directory contains the mediation pack model which is imported into Predictive Insights using the mediation tool. The remaining directories are not used by this mediation pack. The following slides describe the steps that are necessary to add the mediation pack to your operations analytics predictive insights environment. The first step is to configure the Nagios XI Java utility using the Nagios config file and Nagios.sh script that is bundled in the mediation pack. The second step is to configure the data model. The last step will be to create the topic. This slide shows the steps needed to install the Nagios XI Java utility. Before you can use the Nagios Java utility, you must have installed the Java JRE on your Predictive Insights server where the Java utility will be installed. Note that you can use either IBM or Oracle JRE. The versions are shown on the slide. The first steps to install the Java utility are to download and unpack the Nagios XI mediation pack. This slide discusses the parameters that must be set in order to execute the Java utility. The parameters that are used by the Nagios XI Java utility are located in a file called the Nagios config file. The protocol parameter can be set to either HTTP or HTTPS depending on if SSL is used to communicate with the Nagios XI software. The host name is the IP address of the Nagios XI server. The port parameter is the port number that will be used for the API calls to the Nagios XI software. The API key parameter is used if you do not want to use the username and password to authenticate with the Nagios XI server. Refer to the Nagios XI documentation on how to retrieve the API key. The username and password parameters are used to authenticate with the Nagios XI server. The file path parameter is the path that the CSV files will be written to on the Predictive Insights server. Finally the jar path parameter is used to specify the location where the Nagios Java utility resides. We will now discuss how to run the Java utility. A script called Nagios.sh has been created for you that executes the Java utility. This script is located in the bin directory of the unzipped pack contents. You must make sure that the path to you Java JRE is set correctly in the Java underscore home variable which is defined in the Nagios.sh script. The Nagios XI Java shell script needs to be executed at regular intervals to fetch data for all the required metric groups. In order to accomplish regularly scheduled execution of the Java utility, cron is used. The steps to schedule the cron job are shown in this slide. Note that the red 5 indicates that the cron job will be run every 5 minutes. You must make sure that the correct path to execute the nagios.sh file is set. After the scheduled shell script has been executed you can check if any CSV files have been created in the directory that you had specified for the Java command CSV path parameter. The next step to perform is to configure the data modeling by importing the model file into the Predictive Insights server. First copy the PA model file to the Predictive Insights server where the mediation tool is installed. 
then change to the $PI Home Bin directory to launch the mediation tool and go to the file pull down menu and click on the import button as shown on the slide. Select the predictive insights model in the menu and click on next. Select the Nagios XIPA model file and click on OK. When prompted click on finish to complete the import process. We will now discuss how to configure the Nagios data model data source. To configure the data source, enter the data source name as Nagios and the file path of the Nagios CSV files. You must also make sure the time zone is set to UTC. After the data source has been configured you must verify that the Nagios metric groups are appearing. To do this select any metric group and click on the red circled icon shown in the slide. The last step in configuring the data model, is to create the topic. To create the topic log into the Predictive Insights server, change to the $PI home bin directory of Predictive Insights and then run the command that is shown on steps 3 and 4 in the slide. Note that the aggregation interval is set to the same interval that the collection interval was set to when the Nagios XI utility was scheduled by the cron job. In this section we will discuss how to deploy the data model and start the data training process. To deploy the mediation pack right click on the model file and select the deploy model option as shown on the slide. For the next step enter the host name, database, port number and user and password of the predictive insights database. After you enter the user and password click yes to deploy the model. You will now start the data training process by logging into the Predictive Insight server, and change to the $PI home bin directory. After you have changed to the directory run the commands shown in steps 3 and 4 in the slide. After the data training process has started, you can check on the process by looking at the active event list as shown in the slide by logging into the event console and searching for the Nagios events. Typically the training process can take up to two weeks before the anomalies are accurately predicted. When the training process is complete you can review any detected anomalies by logging into the console and navigating to the detected anomalies page as shown on the slide. To view an anomaly, right click on the anomaly in the active event list and launch the service diagnosis tool, as shown in the slide. You can now review the metric behavior over a time period as shown on the slide. If you experience any problems you can open a problem management record with IBM support. When you open the problem ticket, you must provide the product name and version of the Predictive Insight software that you are using. You must also provide the mediation pack name, and version that you have installed. When opening the problem management ticket you must provide screenshots and extracted files by running the command shown in the slide. Also you should provide a use case description when the problem occurred. For information on IBM operations analytics refer to the URLs that are shown on the slide. The following slides contain notice and disclaimer information. Thank you for viewing this presentation of the mediation pack for Nagios XI for the IBM Operations Analytics Predictive Insights product.